sneeze and general, we believe it is a basic fundamental urge that every human would, would actually uh, require it to leave their urges. We think that sex is something that nature has given to uh, animals as a whole to, to actually re reproduce, to procreate, and to ensure a future generation of um, maybe a humans or dogs or cats. We think that sex basically is something that every single animal on this earth, insects included, they actually require it once they reach uh, uh, the age of maturity. We don't think that the current, uh, the current age of eating is actually something that we should actually continue to adhere to and before that we, 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 will, we will be actually uh, using ourselves and relieving our own urges with our own hand or whatever it is that we are actually suggesting. We, we, we think that sex basically is something that every single person wants to be sure that once they reach the age, they will naturally find a partner. And, and we say that, no thank you sir. And we say that because it is a fundamental basic human need, we don't see why we should restrict it to some to, to people of an older age and uh, of, of 18 years uh, or as, as is the current situation, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now uh, before, before I go on to my case proper to make some rebuttals, that have been brought up by the side opposition. First of all, they have insisted and insisted that it is that is morally wrong and that uh, it is also something that will be infringing on the value of marriage and we have uh, a lot of, of child prostitution and problems coming up. Now, first of all, on the on the point of morals, ladies and gentlemen, we don't see what is so wrong with someone who is maybe or 16 years of age having sex with someone else when he and if he or she in the first place has consented to it. The, the, the key word here, ladies and gentlemen, is consent. Sit down. Sit down. The key word here, ladies and gentlemen, is consent. If this person has actually given her consent and is actually agreeable to have sex with someone who may be, say, 10 years older than her, we, and, and, and also, we see that if the parents are actually allowing them to have, to have sex, we don't see why is it morally wrong. But in the first place, morals are something that we actually believe in. It, it, may, be, it may be as a society as a whole uh, who, who agree on a, on a single point that morals, like maybe you, you should not have sex with someone who is not your husband. But we see that it, it is something that is decided by society and it's actually intangible. And we're gonna, and we're gonna look at what we have actually talked about today. But in the US, people are actually having sex even even before they reach up sexual maturity age. We don't see a problem on how it actually infringes on the morals of the people when they don't even believe in saving themselves for marriage in general. We don't we we, we we don't say that there are some people who want to save themselves for marriage. We're not we're not dis we're not disputing that. But we're saying as a whole in society in the US, we see that there has that there's no problem. People don't have an issue with, with, with having sex underage. People do have, have sex even when they're 13 years old. We don't see why it is, it is an man. issue when it comes to moral and what they actually believe in. Yes, sir. So are you trying to say that you encourage people to this? No, sir. We are, what we're actually encouraging here is for, is for minors to actually have a little bit more freedom to make up their own minds. But we're not saying that it's completely given to them because after all, it is still subjected to the approval of their parents. If their, if their parents believe that, yes, my child is of age to be sexually active, and we think that we should let our child go ahead and explore what, what he or she has in, in the future. If he or she wants to uh, save his, his or her curiosity and, and we think that they are of age to actually make the right decisions for themselves, we say that they should, yes, go ahead and, and, and have sex. And, and, if, and if the parents are willing to take the responsibility of whatever comes afterwards, we, we, we don't see an issue with that, ladies and gentlemen. On the, on, on the point of child prostitution, we say that because it is, it is in the US basically, people do know their minds and it's not actually the fact that of India. We don't see that that, that would actually happen because people are not that um, uh, uh, tame and, and always listening to their parents. Uh, on to my case of the ladies and gentlemen, we see that the government, they, they don't actually have the right to actually interfere with the private lives of the people, ladies and gentlemen. We, we say that only when there's really a great harm present and, and really damage a person for his entire life. We say only then does the government actually come in and, and actually um, say that no, you cannot do this, ladies and gentlemen. We, we, we don't see that the, the, the government actually bans people from having sex in the doggy style or, or, or whatever style um, that, 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 that they actually choose to employ when they're having sex. We don't see the government actually interfering in the sexual lives of people. And the, 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 
actually able to make the, their own decisions as to actually enter a, a, a consensual uh, act of sex. And, and we see that because the government does not actually interfere in, in private life, ladies and gentlemen, and also we see that because people, they do actually have uh, a, a lower age when they reach a sexual maturity, we see that, and because of and because parents actually take responsibilities, ladies and gentlemen, we see that we should allow them to have sex when they wish to.